Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Marcus with Lifestyle Graphics. I'm going to show you how to install these custom scene uh, transitions for XSplit. So first thing you want to do is uh, click on the link. Uh, it's going to take you here and you're going to download the XSplit scene transitions and you can either open it from Firefox, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, whatever you use and uh, you can go to your downloads and you can just drag that to your desktop if you want. That's fine. Uh, whatever you use to extract it, um, uh, you can just uh, extract it to your desktop. is fine. And then once you open it, it's going to have two folders right here. Um, you can uh, just drag those out if you want. And uh, you can delete that old one. So really all you need is these two right here and you're going to open up your program files right here and you're going to go to XSplit, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Split Media Labs and XSplit Broadcaster and then XSplit Broadcaster and you're going to drop those in there. That's really all you need to do. Um, you're going to replace, well, I have to replace, but you won't have that option. Um, it's going to ask you for administrator position, uh, permission, I'm sorry, to actually uh, move these into here. Um, you want to go ahead and say okay. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that because I already have them in there and it's playing. And it's going to put two WebM files in there for you already. So they're named with the the time that they actually take. Uh, so it's four seconds on this one. Four seconds. I didn't put the milliseconds because it doesn't really matter. I don't believe uh, putting the milliseconds matters on on the video files. Uh, so um, I just put the four seconds to let you guys know how long it lasts. Um, once that's in there and you open up XSplit, uh, whether you have the uh, paid version, the license, or you have the free one, um, your transitions are going to be located in, in a different spot. So I think uh, for the license, uh, if you add the paid license, they're up here in view um, to uh, swap through your transitions. But in the free version, it's down here. And all you do is choose your scene and choose what you know transition you want. And, uh, with, you know, there it goes, it transitions. Um, if you click the add to favorites, it's gonna, you know, add that one to a favorite. And then you can click the shatter and add it to favorite. And so now, um, in the bottom down here, uh, when you're in this scene, you can choose which one you want. You can go with, uh, the shatter and one of the biggest things for for uh, switching the scenes keep in mind uh, go to tools general settings and you make sure that you uh, optimize scene transitions have that checked and then thumbnail preview um, you want to show it with shift um, just to be just to be safe and the reason I say do that is because if you accidentally hover over another scene uh, it won't kill the transition. So if you see, if I hit shift, it just stops. Uh, so with shift held, you can you can see the transition still for those scenes, uh, but it won't kill the transition if you accidentally hover over it. Um, so once that's in there and set up, you're good to go. If you have any questions, just uh, leave me, post me a reply. Um, and uh, if you have uh, any requests, you can uh, click the uh, links below to find me. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to do. And you'll be good to go. Thanks a lot and good luck.